What's up creators, it's your boy Mad Mike. On today's episode, I'm gonna do a little walk around on the Mad Lab, show you what I'm working on, and it is, believe it or not, the 1985 Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kick car that I'm building for my dad. So stay tuned, check it out. Ew! Alrighty, it is the weekend outside, nice and mild. Finally, last week was like minus 20. Today it's, uh, I think, two degrees. But here we go, we have the kit car project I'm building for my dad inside the Mad Lab. Like I was saying, it's a 1985 Pontiac Fiero and uh, we're finally wrenching on it. It's been 19 to 20 years I've been building this car, so it's about time we get it into the Mad Lab and start wrenching on it. Uh, I'd like to have it done for the spring, painted, mechanically everything working, brakes, motor, and uh, get it certified for the street. That's gonna be the tricky part because I chopped the roof off and I converted it into a convertible, reinforced the frame, but in Ontario, safeties and certifications are getting a little bit uh, iffy now, so it's gonna be a little tricky. We'll do a little dance, but hopefully we can get it on the road by this spring. So let me show you what I'm working on today on this car because there's lots to do. And I basically wanna get this car running and driving uh, so I can pull it in and out of the shop, number one, and two, once all the mechanical is done, then I can just get motivated, focus on all the body work, hammer it out, and get a paint job laid down onto it. All right, hood's popped, engine bay is popped, because we are working on some brakes. It is up on jack stands right now, probably for the first time in like 10 to 15 years I've had it up on jack stands. The underside of this car is actually in really excellent condition. This car, or the donor car, the Fiero, is originally from Texas. So the whole underside of the car is like rust free pretty much. And it had a Ferrari 308 body kit on it when I bought it. So this car has been from Texas, brought up to Canada, inside shops being worked on, had the first kit car conversion, and now I sold that body, put this kit on, it's been in storage, in and outside of storage for the past 20 to 30 years. So. The underside, surprisingly, very, very clean. But today we're working on the brakes. Um, yeah, look at the size of those spacers, I know. But guess what, guys and girls? The spacers on the rear are even wider. For comparison, here's my hand. There's a spacer. Yeah, sketchy. But these wheels have zero offset, and they're like a Repka wheel of the 355. So we're working on the brakes today. Front, I already got new rotors on, just gotta swap out the pads. And then we are, not today, but sometime in the coming weeks, we're gonna get rid of all the scaly surface rust on everything, and then we'll spray everything black. We'll do the calipers yellow, but for today I just wanna get the brakes working, bled, and uh, that way I can move the car around. So, fronts have new rotors, the rears um, are sticking on me, so I've checked the e-brake cables, replaced those. Now I just have to clean up the rotors and put them on. So last week I brought the passenger side rotor into work and I cleaned it up in the sandblaster and made sure she's nice and good because this is the one that was sticking. Don't worry, these are not Willwoods. And uh, if you see here, this is nice and clean, sandblasted, smooth, it's not too rough. So we're gonna coat the hub area with some paint and then we are going to leave the outside bare metal, but they're not warped and they're not pitted too bad. So we're gonna utilize these. There's brake pads on the passenger side. Oh yeah, I got the taillights in, kind of mocked up roughly. Get some motivation, that's what I need right now. So this side here, the brake was seized and I couldn't move the car at all, so I had to hang the brake off. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be today's project. I'm probably not gonna show you guys all the uh, wrenching that I'm doing on this car. Um, I'm gonna show more updates and tell you what I'm doing. But if you guys wanna see me doing like the hands-on work, if that's the kind of content that you guys wanna see, leave a comment below if you wanna see more of the hands-on build stuff of me just wrenching or if you want me to just give you the updates after I complete the work 
to be honest with you, it's a lot easier just doing the work and giving you guys the updates because filming, setting up GoPros, cameras, getting different shots makes the editing a lot trickier and I just don't get any work done on the, on the car. So leave a comment below what kind of content you guys want to see. The other thing that I started working on today because I started having a clatter in the motor and I had to listen around. It sounded like it was coming from the actual block. So I was worried that maybe something went on with the pistons or the rods or something. I believe it to be just the rocker arm assemblies or the lifters or whatever because it's clattering because I've never done an oil change on this car. I've had it for 20 years. I've changed the fuel pump and fuel sending unit or whatever three times in this car, but I've never once changed the oil. So I drained it out. This thing takes 4.3 liters. I believe I had like almost six liters of oil in this thing, but mostly gas because over the years of me cranking it and the motor priming, it's allowed gas into the oil and into the engine. And yeah, there was, it was like liquidy. So we're gonna do an oil change. I've already drained out the oil. It was nasty and really watered down with the fuel. So we're gonna do an oil change, filter and fire it up and hopefully that gets rid of the clatter. So I'll update you guys on that as well. What else can I tell you? Um, let's give you a little walk around of the car real quick here. It's got the 355 Ferrari body mounted onto it. Um, stock Pontiac Fiera windshield. Cut the roof off, made it a convertible. I welded this in when I was 19 years old, so that was over 21 years ago or so. Got to mold this all in. Interior's got real Ferrari seats out of a Ferrari 348. Replica dash panels and center console over here. This is just covering up the ECU so it doesn't get wet. Um, this is a carbon fiber dash I made when I was 18. That was one of the first carbon fiber pieces I ever made. There you go, it's real carbon fiber. Come on, focus, check that out. My dad doesn't like it, thinks it looks too bulky. Focus, but it is a replica of the 355 console. We'll lower it down, modify it a little bit. Yeah, overall the body work has been done. I've done a lot of work over the past 20 years here and there. So it's in a primer state right now. We're gonna do more body work, more primer, and then block sand the entire car. Engine bay needs a lot of work. Each individual fin has to get hand done and it's just time consuming and quite frankly kind of annoying to do and sand those little individual vents. Um, yeah. Let's just go ahead, get these brakes done, get the oil change done, and then we can move the car around safely. I almost drove through the wall here the other day when my girlfriend was trying to stop it, but uh, let's make it less sketchy, get the work done, and I'll update you guys and girls in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. A ciao, ciao.